was presented. So briefly, let me tell you what regionalization is. The county is behind this plan of regionalization. And what that means is that they are planning on putting a flat rate across the board for every community in Allegheny County. Now, first of all, Penn Hills has already done all their repairs. We are just maintaining them. We have a community that is right next to us that, want, that has to come into our plant to be in compliance. We were negotiating with them. We were negotiating 175000 so that we could recoup the millions that we put into this new plant. Under the regionalization, that plant automatically goes into the regionalization. So they replied back to us, we're not giving Penn Hills anything. Because once the regionalization comes in, we will be able to go into that plant for free. Now, that is very, very sad, that one item there alone. But if we go into a flat rate per household, Penn Hills has 22,000 households. So say it's $10 a month for this flat rate. Multiply $10 times 22,000. That's what Penn Hills will be putting into the pot because we're the second largest, well, we're the largest community in Allegheny County with the exception of the city of Pittsburgh. Now let's say we have a small community that has 5,000 residents. Multiply $10 times 5,000. What do you come up with? A lot less than the 20,000. So first of all, Penn Hills residents for so many years have paid for us to redo all the work underground, all the plants and what have you. We have done all that. All we're doing is maintaining now. So they want Penn Hills to give over all their plants that we re redid for other communities to be able to come into and pay Penn Hills nothing. We, as the largest community, will be putting more money into that pot than any other community outside of the city of Pittsburgh. And furthermore, Penn Hills won't be taking anything out of that pot because of the fact that we've already done everything. Now we have fought for probably, what, Rick, three years now? Yeah. Our engineers, our manager, our um, water pollution director, and all of Mayor and Council. And we have spoken to every high-end official in the county. And their statement was, well, you don't have to go into it if you don't want to, but the EPA will be on your back 24-7. And my comment to them was, Penn Hills is used to the EPA being on us 24-7. We don't have to worry about it because we just got informed that we are in complete compliance. And if you want to say we don't have to go into it, well then let me tell you this, we won't. We'll handle our own plant, our own sewage as we always have. And now see how much is in your pool when you've lost 22,000 households. And secondly, ask our neighboring community how far they're going to have to put pipe in if they don't get to come into ours on Rhode Island Road. And what are you going to do when you have to go down uh, through Penn Hills to go to the connection on Allegheny Boulevard? But that is mayor and council's voice. I tell everyone, you have to contact these people and say, I'm a Penn Hills resident and I'm not taking this anymore. That's why I said, we are Penn Hills. We need to let everyone around us and every official 
who come out when it's time for their vote and want you to vote for them. We need every one of them to be contacted and say, Penn Hills has already paid. We're not paying for the other communities. So I, I, there again, and I've told this to the media several times, and um, unfortunately, Penn Hills doesn't seem to get the support that we deserve. But we fight for you, but you also have to fight with us. Thank you. Did I already ask for a motion? Yes. Do you have a second? Any further comments from the audience? Please come up and give your name and your address. Hi, Faith Malazzo, 121 Castle Drive. I would first like to thank you, Unrelated, for putting our next uh, litter pickup on the website. That will be Saturday, uh, May 20th or 21st. I can't remember the date, but uh, I hope to see all of you there. Um, I just want to make another comment about sewage. Uh, I will say I was one of the people that didn't understand how sewage worked up until a few months ago. Uh, I didn't know if it was Penn Hills, if it was Alcazan, because our bills, at least for me, I have Oakmont, we, we're billed quarterly. There was nothing in our bill, not from Penn Hills and not from Alcazan. It's kind of a shock when you see your higher bill and you don't know where it's coming from, but I just want to point out just one thing. I'm not one of the ones, I don't have a suggestion either. I mean, I'm one of the people who I jump on Facebook and when people are like, they're crooks and they're ripping us off and a lot of people, they don't understand. I understand a lot more than I used to, but I just, for a point of, I guess, just clarification, um, I have a sewage bill here. It's from 2010. For 13 gallons of, I'm sorry, 13,000 gallons of water, my sewage bill was $162. Here, uh, about eight years later, the same amount, my sewage bill went up to $262. So, I mean, it's an increase of $100. And I just, I just think it's important to note that some people, they don't really understand how it works, but we still have to pay the higher bill. So I just feel it's important just to say that, that um, it's $100 more in 10 years. That's 60 some percent. And I think people are just frustrated that some people may be talking out of turn and they're being unfair to counsel. I'm not denying that, but it, it, it's, it's frustration just to see, you know, how, how high the bills are. I mean, that, that's a huge increase. So I, I just wanted to say that. And I know when I looked at the agenda, I was a little concerned seeing those large numbers because our bills have gone up. And I'm, my first thought is, oh crap, are they going to go up again? Just seeing, you know, a million dollars. So. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure you know this, um, but I just, you know, I just wanted to say that. That's all right. And uh, um, we had contacted the water authorities and asked them if they would send a, right, uh, a letter, um, even to send a letter explaining that Penn Hills is not receiving this full amount. Okay. And as I said, I realize it went up that much. But if it would have gone up that much eight years ago, how much would you have been paying and how much did you save in those eight years that it didn't? Yeah. Penn Hill